Hello again to Mr. Mayor's Book Chats. Today I'm going to talk to you about five new books that we have here down in the library. First one is Becoming Kareem, and it's all about Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, one of the greatest basketball players to ever live. And this book um, talks about him growing up. He was just kind of another kid in New York City. He was always tall for his age, but he struggled with fitting in. He was um, extremely shy, socially awkward, but he had this talent for basketball and he had supporters all along the way. He had very strict, um, very strict parents, but throughout his entire life, he had great coaches that kind of helped him with basketball, but also with life in general as well. Um, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar was a huge activist. Um, he spoke out for racial equality. And so he was much more than just a basketball player. So if you like basketball, if you like sports books, you might like this one. Another one you might like is called Shoe Dog. And this is about the founder of Nike, Phil Knight. So Phil Knight was cut from his freshman basketball team. And he went home disappointed that day. And his mom told him, well, why don't you try track? You know, you've always been a good runner. So he started track and he was good at it. He was very fast. And he continued with track and ran track in high school and college as well. But after college, he didn't really know what he wanted to do. So he took kind of a year off and just went backpacking over in Europe and throughout Asia. And he eventually borrowed $50 because he had this idea, this plan that he was going to buy some shoes that he found very cheap in Japan and bring them back over to the United States and try to sell them. So this takes it from the very beginning, him and his buddies selling shoes out of their trunks to athletes and now to what Nike is today. So it's an incredible story of just a young man that his motto was just keep going. Don't stop. You know, whatever comes up, don't stop. And that's kind of where the slogan, just do it, came from. So an incredible, kind of interesting story there. The next three books are fiction. Forget Me Not. This is a novel told in verse. And it's about a girl named Calliope who has Tourette's syndrome. Tourette's syndrome. So she sometimes makes faces or noises that she doesn't mean to make. She just makes them involuntarily. And when she and her mother move yet again, um, her mom's kind of a mess and moving a lot. And she's got different boyfriends, which makes them move a lot. But this, this most recent move, she tries to hide her Tourette's syndrome. But it isn't long before the kids at her new school realize that she's a little bit different. But luckily, um, her next door neighbor who is kind of the most popular student body president. He enjoys hanging out with Calliope and he sees that who Calliope really is. But is he brave enough to take their friendship public? Is he brave enough to you know, kind of stand up to his friends and say, you know what, Calliope is not so different after all. Next one is Breakout. This is kind of a bigger book, but I love this book. It's about a couple friends who are getting ready for summer break, and they each have a, an assignment over the summer to write letters because they want to create a time capsule of the year, of the summer. But right before summer starts, two inmates from a nearby prison escape. So their whole town is on lockdown. And, you know, her... One of the girl's little brothers is obsessed with catching the bad guys because he's afraid that if the bad guys don't get caught, he's not going to have his birthday party. And there's a new girl in town named Elodie who just moved because her brother is in the prison. And she's treated differently because she looks different um, and treated differently because her brother's in prison. And it's just a fantastic look. There's racial issues. There's kind of poverty issues. But the whole story is told through letters and text messages and um, just all these assignments, newspaper clippings. 
so it's I love the way it's told. It's a great story, but there's some other interesting kind of subplots that go with it. And then the last book I'm going to talk about is The Miscalculations of Lightning Girl. And this is about a girl named Lucy, who when she was eight, she was climbing a chain link fence when it began to storm, and she's struck by lightning. Now, the good news is that she survived it, but the other odd kind of news is that it kind of gave her these neuroses and kind of obsessive compulsive tendencies. But also, it made her super good at math, like genius level math at math. Um, so as she continues to grow, you know, when this book stuck, most of the book is about her in middle school age, but she is like, she's ready for, to go to college, but her grandma isn't quite ready for that. She needs to pass one more test, middle school. So she sends her to middle school and it's all about Lucy trying to fit in with her peers, even though she is kind of this super smart girl and trying to just fit in. So she survived being struck by lightning, but can she survive middle school? And then the last thing I'm gonna to talk to you about, we have our book club, Stories and Slices coming up. Next Tuesday, we are gonna Skype with the author of The Night Diary. And in the future, we've got four more Skype visits. So if you're interested in any of that, come see me down at the library. As always, Enjoy reading, and thanks for watching.